Hey folks, welcome back to Road Hard Restorations. On this video, we're gonna be painting the firewall on this 1967 Chevy Camaro. All right, here we are with the 1967 Camaro. Customer wanted the uh, firewall blacked out. So we're gonna go ahead and just clean it up, tape off some stuff, wrap other stuff in aluminum foil. And then remove a few things like the, uh, the pedal assembly there and this vacuum canister. Let's get started. All right, got everything off the firewall that I wanted. Um, next step is to take the wire brush and uh, give it a good scrubbing uh, with this. Knocks off any of the loose uh, chunks. Um, any of the hard dirt just kind of caked on there, kind of gets all that off of there. And then uh, after that, I'm just gonna use some cleaner. Uh, this happens to be simple green and then some red scotch bright. All right, and then uh, just keep going all the way until you get to the other side. Just focusing on areas that uh, they are gonna get paint and then any adjacent areas, you want to make sure that you're not going to have any dust, dirt flying off into the uh, into your paint job. Use one piece of a red scotch right here to clean the firewall, get all the nasty dirt and grease off of it. So that one's pretty much spent. Um, I wiped it down with the simple green and a rag. Um, got a lot more of the, the dirt off of there. Now that it's dry, I'm going to go over it with a dry scotch bright. Uh, just kind of um, scuff it up a little bit and then I'll wipe it down again with another clean rag um, and then mask it and get it ready for paint. I don't know if you can see this or not, but there's actually a factory run right here. So I'm going to see if I can knock that down best I can. Okay, you want to be mindful of where factory paint changes from the white to the black. It's a it's actually a fuzzy uh, fuzzy line. So I'm just gonna try to keep that. And you don't put it down flat like that, so just get a hard line. So you just kind of have it just kind of hanging over the edge, like so. And then whatever blows under the tape happens to will happen to be under the tape. Again, like I said, you don't want to push down on the tape. You want it to kind of just kind of hover over the edge. I'm just using a rattle can. Um, so the spray pattern is a lot smaller. There's not as much overspray. Um, you know, I'm not doing full passes. As if I were with a gun. So the fact that this isn't like super tight isn't a big deal. Same thing with these little holes here. There's nothing in here that's worried about getting overspray on. Now this piece has a nice, really nice metal finish on there. So I'm gonna go ahead and take that guy off. Yeah, the old aluminum foil masking trick. Now I want to keep this line white, and I don't care if I get a little overspray on the on the frame rail. It's already black, um, but uh, I don't want overspray on that guy. I'll stick out. All 
All right, again, if I was shooting this out of a gun, I'd bag the whole car because you get a lot of overspray. Um, I'm just the rattle can, uh, so it's a little easier to maintain control over the um, overspray. So, but just for the heck of it, just in case anything wafts over, I'm just going to put this welding blanket down and use it as a uh, Use this kind of a part cover right here. Rag's coming off clean. That's good. That's a good sign. This is just a grease and wax remover. I'm just giving it kind of a once over. Right, time to start my paint. I'm using Krylon Color Max Satin Black. How about four cans of this stuff? I think I only needed one. <laughs> Pretty covered. Alrighty. Here is the uh, final product here. Still needs to dry. See what it looks like a little bit later. I think it looks pretty good. Alright, a new day. Let's get this thing unwrapped here. All right, there you have it. Freshly painted firewall, nice and smooth, no tacky at all. You know, you always kind of wonder with the rattle can if it's gonna dry properly or not. But uh, yeah, I think it turned out really well. So now I just gotta reassemble everything on here. We've got the uh, AC box on order. That should be in, I think, sometime next week. Gotta reconnect the uh, gas pedal linkage, windshield wiper motor, brake booster. Put the engine in, but before we do that, we've got to get the uh, brake lines running. So I'm going to start with the master cylinder and then uh, get all my lines set, then I can drop the motor in.